to JMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today we're going to play with vellum, acetate, embossing folders and alcohol ink. So I've been meaning to do this ever since I saw an Al Melvin Positively Papercraft video and today I have gotten round to it finally. So this is vellum that's been embossed and then I put ink on the top of the embossing side. This is acetate that's been embossed but I put the ink on the back side of the acetate. Once again this is vellum only I have put the ink on top and this is a piece of acetate and I have put the ink on top of it too. This one's not dry yet, it does take a minute or two for them to dry. So, we're going to try some more effects. So, I've got a piece of acetate. Have I done? Yes, I did. So, let's... I have alcohol inks in greens, blues, purple, pink, red and yellow. Okay. So I've got a little mini blending brush and I've got some foam pads that I've been using. So what I'm going to do is just put some ink on. Okay, and for this one I'm going to dab it round. Okay, then I'm going to put some blue on. This one doesn't want to come out. on gas now. Right, and then we need a blue pad. So we do. And then what next? Pink. Goes and we'll change to our pink one. And I'm just slightly overlapping it. And then we turn it over, and oh, that's pretty. I like that. Let's give the purple another go. And just deepen it up a little bit. Okay. Right, what's this one? This is blue. Where's the purple one? There's the purple one. and we're going to leave that to dry. Next we are going to do a little bit of cleaning up. Just some water and a cloth on my glass mat. Right, next we will do a blue and a green and we'll do it on vellum. Let's see what this will look like. <laughs> I think 
that. And then we're going to come in with a green one. And just put it on. And you can just do whatever the heck you like. You just sit and play around for ages with this. The only thing is my fingers are I should have maybe I thought ahead and put some gloves on, but I was just in the mood to do this, so I just went with it, you know. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty. I want some more blue and I kind of went over the blue with the green and I didn't mean to, to take all my blue out. So I didn't. Okay. And I'm actually going to leave that solid like that because it stands out a bit more. And we will leave that one to dry. Okay. What can we do now? Do an acetate one in the same way. Um, I use just a selection of embossing folders for my stash. That was in a Leeson Horton magazine, the first one. That one's just a Sizzix Swirls and Curls. This is just a generic dot one. This is a Crafter's Companion Flower and Butterfly one. This is an old Couture Creations. This is Embossalicious. And this one I got in the Positively Pure Craft April 21 kit. So, those are all the embossing folders I used. Now, I said I would do it behind on this one, didn't I? So, an acetate behind in blue and green. Okay. Let's put our blue one on and... Let's create kind of circular motion. Okay. And then we're going to put green on. Is this a different green? Sublime Botanical. We'll put Botanical on this time. And these are just... Um, Ranger alcohol inks that I have. I think it's Ranger. Not actually 100% sure. So, once again, we're just going round and round. Then what I want to do is there's a different blue, it's quite a dark one. What's this eggplant? Denim. I'm going to put some denim on. Oops, I put it in my green. I didn't mean to put it in my green. So I didn't. But you know, accidents happen, people. convinced about this one. It's the blue. I think I need to 
lambda blue a bit. Oops. <laughs> So that looks a bit better. So it does. That dark blue's not showing up very well. Let's see if this eggplant shows up any better. Where's that dark one? A bit better. When you hold it up to the light, you see it better. Oops. That one tried to escape. So that one's going to dry. Let me see. Wait, put a lid on. Right. What have I not done? not done. We'll do that. We'll do that ready one. Is that the one I used? Flamingo and Intrigue. Right. Let's do let's do a vellum one and do it on top. Oh that's like a ready. Okay, it's a ready. This is a pinky. A bit of blue. I'm just going for it here. So I am. I'm just. Getting what I'm getting. Okay. And then a green. It's good, you're it. And I'm just... I'm just putting them directly on this time. I am not smishing them. getting what we're getting. Oops. There we go. Oh, that one's pretty. I like that one too. I'd probably cut some off, but I don't want them white bits showing. And I want that to be a little bit more dominant. Okay. go. So I think that will do us for our messiness and we will clean up and come back and put together some quick cards. Sorry I'm back with one more. I did this. This is an old stamp and up um, foiled acetate and I want to try and see what I can get with it. And I think I'm going to smush it this time. Look at the state of my finger. Right, 
right. Let's do a green. Oops. Let's do a green. And a little bit of blue. Oh, this is eggplant. And a little bit on there. Where's that one? And there we go. I need to I need to do that one in the middle a bit. It's not quite um, covered. Right, now we'll clean up and come back. Okay, folks, so I've been working away and I forgot to switch the camera on. So, this is going to be the basis of my first card. I am going to put that on there. Now, how am I going to put it on there? I bought these sticky sheets from Creative Expressions to see what they're like for doing my... word dies and I'm going to try and use that to stick this on with it's sticky dots sticky specks they're called from creative expressions okay mm. Let's see how the cookie crumbles. Let us stand up to give me a chance of getting it remotely straight and even. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is an old, and I mean old, tonic dye that I have in my stash and I have cut it out three times and layered it and I am putting sticky on okay and I need I want to put some skinny bits on So we're going to give it a go and get some skinny bits on our thingy me jigger. Where's my where's my pink thing? Can't find it. We'll use this one. Okay. And I've got one more bit, so I'll just use it. On there. Okay. That's the way the cookie crumbles today. Gosh, it's a miserable wet day here in Ballymoney. And my back and my butt are breaking. When I was young, and folks said, when it was cold or it was wet, that they hurt more, I used to think, and folks not right in the head, until I got to my 30s, 
put out a disc of my spine and got the attica which makes my bum hurt and yes whenever it's cold and it's wet you do feel the pain more so geez louise right so and i think i'm going to attempt to color this butterfly in a bit Stick it on there, see what it's like. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. But I've done it now, so. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I actually like that for a little bit of dimension. And I'm just putting glue down the centre and sticking him on there. And this also comes with the die set. It's, as I said, it's a really old one. It must be eight years or so. So there we go. There is our first card made. Moving on to card number two. I have taken this bit that we did here. I like the vibrancy of this side. I was going to put it on there, but what if I put it on a bit of gold card? You see, I was going to use silver, I was going to use that side. Because it's more muted. And you can see the silver. Right, I'll go with that. Uh, I'll go with that. That's just the way it is. We're just going to roll and roll. Let's see if we get some more of these sticky dots. And you can put them on bits that you've used before and it will pick up whatever dots were left behind. So you can. I have used this edge bit a bit, so I am just putting it in places. There we go. I think that will do. Oh look, I've got some on my finger. go there I'm going to press it from the back because it's still a little bit sticky it does take a while for the alcohol inks to dry on the acetate it goes a bit faster on the vellum but it still does take a bit to dry and I have just realized that is not remotely straight at the bottom So let's try that again. There we go. That's a bit better looking. One is content. Now, I'm going to get some yellow ink and repeat the process that I used earlier. Mango Melody, I'm going to try this one. I'm going to try Mango Melody because that yellow's not, it looks a bit orangey. 
orangey yellow. So what we're going to do is just color our sentiment. Right, let that sit there a wee minute and put your ink away again. Get a wee cloth and clean up. Okay, and then you want to stick that onto your. I've cut the shadow out in gold silver. Can't get my colours right. And you're just going to stick that on there. Okay, and I'm going to take the excess off on there so as it doesn't all squidge out. And then we're going to do this. Now you could alternatively cut that out in that card. But these are ones that I have already cut. And... I am just using those. Right, the hello is going to go on there. This is going to go on my card base. Like that. But I have a little butterfly here. just got a wee bit sticking up on it that is not what I require. See this sign trying to put the lid back in? It's annoying. So I thought we were going to do that. What do I think? Yes? Yes. Thank you for agreeing with me. Hee hee hee. So we're going to put our glue on our panel and just stick it down. Oops. A C V C V Plamer C. Right. And we're going to squidge that down. Okay. Give it a good firm press and a little bit of glue on there. Get rid of that. Good job. Then, then give that a good firm press. And that's going to go on there. And that's going to go on there. And I'm keeping my butterfly white. And I'm going to stick him on just with his body so that his wings will pop up when they come out of the card base or the envelope even. And I think I'm going to pop up the hello. hello. Scissors. Scissors are required. Okay, let's put our bits on. Okay, there and there. Right, give a good look at that there. One needs to go to the shower and remove all the ink off one's hands.
But one will do that before one goes to bed. There we go. Now, I think I want to put gems down their body. So, let's see what we've got. You see, I like those ones, but I've only got two of those. Is two enough? One ass oneself. It's two enough. And I keep putting this back on because if I don't put this back on the time, I can't get this thing to go in. And that's why this one here has a pin in it because once I forgot about it, the lid no longer fit it. Okay. Okay, I think we're cooking on gas here, folks. Although I don't think I would like to cook on gas. I remember years ago, um, when I was young, we had a gas cooker. And you had them yellow tanks of gas. And you always had to have a spare one, because if you run out of gas during the middle of dinner making session, oops, you were in trouble. So, that's that one. And I had already gone ahead and made this one before I realised the camera wasn't on. So this is just a die cut, cut out three times. And some words on top of the vellum. So those are the three cards I've made. I will... I've lost one. I've already lost one. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's on the floor. Surprise, surprise, it's on the floor. So those... Actually, I'm going to put some gems up that now as well because I just think it looks better. So those are the three cards I made with my... Alcohol, inks, vellum and acetate and embossing folders. So I hope you like. Remember to thumbs up. Please, please, please thumbs up. Comment. Subscribe. I very much appreciate it. Otherwise I wouldn't keep going. So I hope you're all safe and well. And until the next time, Jackie out.